Morning guys, quick update while I get ready for work. I got another extra gig today, and it's a TV show, and I gotta be there at 7.30. Right now it's 6.30. I like to try to arrive a little early, like 15 minutes early if possible. Got a new camera, so it might look a little bit more clear. Well, I got a new phone actually, I didn't get a new camera. But I did get a new phone. But yeah guys, I, uh, I'm bringing a couple changes of clothes with me to this extra gig. My fourth day in a row working, the last three days I worked at the theater. Um, I do have mace now. Mace. I got it a while back, I thought it would be a good idea to have, probably. <clears throat> Kinda had a sore throat the last couple days. So they said to wear typical homeless attire. I don't even know what that is. I guess I'm just gonna wear my normal clothes. Proper pants here. I have some green ones to wear. Let's see. Green pants. Green! For the other ones, I've been a beer snob and a hipster. That's all they've booked me for. And I didn't have to change once. I just showed up and they're like, oh, you're good. Costume looks good. And uh, today, I don't know. I'm supposed to be dressed uh, casual, Alcoholics Anonymous person and a um, a uh, homeless person so I think I've got the homeless person down maybe this car's not that big blue pants what is casual, what is typical homeless attire? I don't even, I don't have any like raggy uh, white t-shirts or anything like that. Ugh. Well guys, I just got done uh, working on the set uh, as a alcoholics anonymous person and a homeless person. And uh, it was pretty, it was a long day, there was a lot of repeated takes. Uh, Stanley Kubrick might as well have been there. I worked in Lakeview Terrace right now. It's kind of an interesting little, weird little town, I guess. What the fuck doing? It's following me. Uh, yeah, I'm done now. Got the next two days off to kind of take it easy, which is good because I feel like I've been working like crazy for the last couple days. Uh, but I'm gonna go check out this dam real quick. Apparently, I'm right by a dam and a lake or something like that. This is Lakeview Terrace. Never been here. It's kind of a neat area. Uh, yeah. So here we go. I'm guessing that maybe there used to be water here. I don't know. I might have to look it up. It's definitely not water here anymore, unless it's further down here. I don't see anything. Maybe a creek. Alright guys, that's about it for my day. Uh, I'm so tired. I'm gonna try to find a, um, a movie theater that plays old movies now. and Because uh, I feel like watching something older. I've seen most of the new stuff and nothing is really worth mentioning. With the exception of a amazing, amazing, amazing piece of work called Swiss Army Man and you should go see Swiss Army Man because it's so good and normally I don't say like hey you should go watch a movie you should go watch this you should watch that you watch that, that that's a good movie I don't normally do that stuff because who am I to say what's good and what should be watched and all this other stuff my opinion is different than yours all this you know all that stuff blah 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 
But Swiss Army Man is so incredible that I'm just gonna make all that stuff exempt. You should go see Swiss Army Man because it's so amazing. It's about friendship and survival and life and uh, I can't even, I don't even know what the movie's about. You just gotta go see it. There's flatulence, but that's like sort of on the surface level of the movie, like sort of what the movie's even commenting on is the, the whole flatulence thing and and our perception of that and acceptance and all this other stuff and the movie is just so brilliant. Um, don't go see The Purge. Don't watch The Purge. Don't watch Mike and Dave. Uh, don't watch Tarzan. Don't watch that stuff, you know? Uh, unless you just unless you just need some relaxation time, you just want to go to a movie, you want to turn off that, that brain up in there, that's fine. I do that sometimes too. I mean, I've already seen, I've seen The Purge. I've seen Tarzan, uh, but I don't recommend them. I don't, I wouldn't watch them, but you might like them, so don't take my word for it. But definitely see Swiss Army Man because Swiss Army Man is incredible. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's really good. Uh, it's my favorite movie of the year so far. And uh, movies don't movies like that don't come along uh, very often. Uh, it's something, it's something, you know. When we watch a movie, when we watch a movie, it, it does something to us, right? And, uh, I mean, media is all around us all the time. It's in everything. It's on this little book. Somebody designed this thing. That's media. This is media. This little design on this stupid USB charger thing is media. This is media. Look at that, that's media. Everything around us all the time is made by people and it's all has some goal, you know, that they're trying to achieve with the design of the thing. Movies are the same way, uh, you know. But when you go to see stuff like The Purge, Tarzan, uh, Mike and Dave, at least for me, I don't get anything out of those movies. I don't, I don't get any sort of I mean, maybe some fun, but ultimately in like two years I will have forgotten about it, you know? And it doesn't teach me any lessons, it doesn't widen my views on anything. Sometimes they have basic lessons in those films, you know, basic nice lessons about, you know, like sort of love stories and, uh, you know, uh, good versus evil, all this other stuff, and those can be great, you know, sometimes. But Swiss Army Man has something very deep and something very personal and something very human and it's a brilliant movie, and I really just would hope that a lot of people would see it. Uh, the theater that I work at, on a good show, I've seen maybe like five people in the auditorium per showing. And, uh, you know, Tarzan and stuff like that are just packed to the brim, and it's just, I wonder just like, how, how does this make any sense? But, you know, I guess it does. Somehow. I don't understand how, but anyways guys, Swiss Army Man's really good. I hope you guys have a super awesome week, and I'll probably see you this weekend. Um, if you watched Swiss Army Man, or if you want to talk about it, or if you are going to watch it, post a comment below. I want to know what you thought of the movie, because it's something that you can definitely talk about. And for you guys who don't like movies, or you're uninterested, I'm sorry for taking a lot of your time, because I'm obsessed with this movie right now. It's just really good. But yeah, guys, take it easy. I'll probably get back to you this weekend, and hopefully I'll have my laptop back also sometime soon. So, yeah.